So hydronephrosis simply means hold up of urine in the kidney. So the cause of this uh, hydronephrosis is either because of reflux where the urine is coming back from the bladder into the kidney or due to obstruction, meaning there's a blockage somewhere along the track between the kidney and the bladder. The commonest cause of hydronephrosis that I encounter is something called pelvic uteric junction obstruction, whereby the pelvis, which is the funnel that drains the kidney down to the ureter, which is a small tube, between that junction, there is an obstruction. That is often identified antenatally before the child is born, while the child is in, still in the uterus of the mother. And when the child is born, we do some scans to look for the condition and if there's progressive worsening of the condition. Once we've identified the problem and done some tests on this to check on the flow of urine from the kidney down to the bladder, if there is a significant problem in terms of obstruction, surgery is the option of choice. This is because if there is an obstruction to the kidney, there will be progressive damage to the kidney cells. Therefore, there is a need to do surgery earlier so that we can preserve the function of the kidney. The choice of surgery that I perform is something called laparoscopic pyeloplasty, which involves taking away the blocked part between the pelvis and the ureter and then rejoining them with a bigger opening so that there is no obstruction. This is done as a procedure which takes about two hours in surgery and they go back within two days. The recovery is so much faster with laparoscopic surgery compared to the open surgery because the open surgery involves a reasonable cut on the back of the child and involves cutting of the muscle Therefore, the pain is so much more significant compared to the laparoscopic technique.